equation, and she, you, you know, you would just this and that and that. I said, wow, it was just a blessing, everything that they said. So don't disregard those people that said they have an agent. Treat them just like you would treat anybody else. And on their way out, let's just say you're, you told me you have an agent. Alice, I know you are working with someone, and I'm glad you have somebody. Would you keep my card? Just um, maybe in the future I can help you, or maybe somebody you know I can help. So everybody leaves with my card. Okay? Yeah. You are not trying to steal, I'm not trying to steal him. Yeah. Yes, you have a question? No, I'm saying like they're really slow and somebody wants to. I literally stand in front of the door and I won't let him. Because <laughs> I want to talk to him. I just kind of like ask questions. <laughs> ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. Ask questions. The, uh, they, they know everything before they come. Yeah. yeah. They've already checked out the house. They've checked out all the pictures. Now they just want to see it in person. Now that's our opportunity. So we don't have to give them all those specs. They have it. Build rapport. Make a connection. So for me, that's my strong suit. I can make a connection very quick. Very quick. I'm not saying, you know, I'm going to end up with a, a deal. I'm just saying I, I can make connections real quick. And I can make somebody feel comfortable. And it's authentic. So I get I, I get almost almost all sign, people sign in all the time. All the time. No problem at all having people sign in. If they don't want all oh, no the problem. I said, you know what, if you could just write your first name, that way at least the sellers know who came by. Okay? Uh, that's that's the one thing on that. Signing, so this is my this is my binder after. This is my signing sheet. Okay? It's handy. I, um, you know, i got to keep things simple for me. And I have it here. I take it home. So this, this is my signing sheet. Um, now, okay. Any other questions for Verena and Thoughts? No one said that, but they probably think that. So if you want, you can do what Lima is going to do, just one per sheet. Which is, for me, that's so cumbersome. Can you imagine me yeah. doing it? Yeah. But legally, you don't know what I'm No one's... Because I had one person. Say that. So, yeah, so now I have a sheet on top of the first two information, let's say. Oh, that's okay. good. Oh, that's they don't see it. So if they have said that, just, oh, you know, oh, I'm not comfortable. Oh, well, do you want to... Do you want to you want a separate sheet? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. And but I want to make sure we get back. Please don't let me forget to go back and um, go over. I'd like to help her a little bit more on. Um, and and Randy, are you going to leave soon? So would you like to add whatever you want to add to the book? Now, um, a lot of the stuff that I I know. I'm sorry. I just got to get better with the PowerPoint. Um, We've already covered a lot what's in here. So you should be making notes already. Um, and, but, you know, there's there's so much good information in here. You know, so like you always greet people when they come in. You always say goodbye when they leave. This is page 40. I know I thank the guest. Um, oh, I kind of joke around too. Not as much as Randy. I want, I'm going to do that. I like that. Uh, we have indoor plumbing. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to use that. Anyway, so when the people come out, it's like, okay, let's go. You ready to write an offer? You know? And they kind of chuckle. Yeah. Yeah. I, you want to keep it like, well, then they have fun. You know, uh, the, the buying a house is a little stressful. And one time one, one of the ladies said, um, oh, it's so stressful. I said, really? Why? You should be having fun with this. And she goes, you're the only person that's ever said that, to have fun through this whole process. So, you know, uh, we all connect a little differently with people. Uh, let's see. What else? Randy, is there anything you want to add before you have to leave? Regarding? Just just in general. Oh. Yeah. Uh, usually on the way out, I'll ask them, so what do you think? On the way out. Mm -hmm. On the way out. Well, maybe not on the way out, but after they... Because it depends on the situation, how many people are there, and if it looks like they want to be on their own, or if they want to be escorted through. But mm -hmm. after they're done looking at it, you know, say, oh, what did you think? So how do you feel? You see yourself here? Does it suit your needs? You know, just find out what they thought about it. And if they say, well, you know, I like it, but it's just not the one, that's when you start asking more questions. Well, what is it that would make it? If you can make, if one thing was different that would make this the perfect house for you, what would it be? 
that's usually how you're going to find out what's important to them. Find out what it is that they didn't like about the house. And then you put that in your notes, and, and if they do like the house, then I say, well, we're going to have them decide it yet, and if we're going to have an offer date, or if we're going to take them as they come. So let me get your in, your contact info, let you know where our office um, process is going to be, and I'll let you know. And um, as they come in, I already know if they have an agent or not, so I'll say, well, I'll let your agent know. Um, go ahead and sign in anyway, because that way at least I know your agent and who you are, and I can let your agent know. And so, I mean, it's a little bit different. There's no one precise yeah, no one. method to it. Yeah, sure. you got to learn how to read the people. Everybody. you got to know who's who you're going to be able to talk to. You're going to have to know who's going to be the jerk. And yeah. you know, don't worry about it. Well, she left it. But you know what? If you do have a church and you're already saying, you know, I don't want to deal with this person, experiment with it. Try to crack a joke and see if, if you break the ice. Because you're already counting them off. So it doesn't matter. If it doesn't work, who cares? Yeah. Get that mindset. If it doesn't work, who cares? I'm not going to work with them anyway. I'm just going to practice. Yeah. Do you know how to do We should be, we should have add them into our database. So for every here, if I meet you guys, one of you I should be able to add into my database. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. No, I have like I I well, that was one with the previous company and then you with you. Um, like I, I have about forty forty five people in my database. Cool. So I'm just thinking like how many do you need to do to, to finally get a transaction? transaction? Well, you know what? So our business we have to understand. It's not like getting gas twice a week. It's not like going to the grocery store twice a week. It's not like buying a car every five to, you know. It's kind of sometimes once in a lifetime. But usually, what, two to three around here, right? It's one of those things where it's going to be different for everybody because at the beginning, that's going to take forever, it seems like. But once you get good at well, your not, dialogue, once you get comfortable and you learn how to read people, it's just going to happen faster and faster and faster. You may go months without nothing, but then after you, it's like skiing. I don't know if you ski, but when I learned how to ski, I was so pissed off because I couldn't do it. I went, I don't know how many lessons, and I was getting frustrated, and then all of a sudden I just clicked. So after skiing? that, snow skiing, yeah. It, I mean, it's just, it, you're like this, 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 and then all of a sudden you're like this. So you got to just stick with it because. It will click. It's going to. It's going to come. And the more you do it, the faster it will happen. Yeah. Just Thank you. Just remember, okay. it's going to be slow. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go. Bye. Okay. Bye. So, a uh, few last things I want to point out. Um, I want to do an open house there. Okay. Uh, maybe a Monday. Okay. Uh, I wanted to share a couple things. Okay, so can you click to page 15? to prepare and promote. Anish, you got me motivated. You refreshed my memory. I used to do it all the time. I used to always go door knocking before the open houses. Mm -hmm. I don't have that luxury right now when taking care of mom. I, and I'm not using that as an excuse. I've just got to get better to um, embrace my time I do have. So, um, going around the open houses. So we want to make it a, uh, we want to make it a, like an event. Maybe. But again, we're solo agents. Uh, yes, we can still handle, as long as, for me, my, I got my foundation down. Now my, my second tier is, you know, the social media, and I want to go back door knocking like I used to. Before the open house, invite the neighbors, right? And I brought this, I also want to encourage you guys to, um, so we're not always having to think, oh, what should I, what should I, oh, this is my big why. Um, so my my uh, marketing stuff, you know, keep keep things and so like oh I remember this I'm gonna use this, you know, just keep things that, that um, you know the wording so you don't have to re reinvent it every time 
you know, you can just change it now. So now it's not a, uh, uh, and here's just a market snapshot I like to do. These, I like the half sheets when I go around door knocking. I like um, the half sheets. You know, I always have a message, and then I have what's, they always want to know what's happening in their area, right? So anyway, um, to keep things simple, and we can just use, use, um, let's see, I have this. So this is so generic, and I can just change the words, right? It's simple. Um, whether selling or buying this season, call me for all your real estate needs. Is the property, it, and then I can say on this side, um, you're invited, open house, special for neighbors, whatever it might be. Simple, right? Um, I already have this template. I just changed the pictures and I just changed the verbiage. So start yourselves a, a file too to um, save save your templates and things so you don't always have to rethink everything. Um, let's see. Will you going to say something? Yeah. Percentages will go up. Don't don't judge it by that one. Because I, I'm. But I do because just because I see okay I did something you know I just didn't. No, it's great. Show up. And so if if just this and this is another what one of my friends colleagues wrote back. He said, "We'll do at least the 10, 10, 20." And what that is is um, and we can do this before the open house. Let's say if I don't have time or if we don't have time to go ahead of time and door knock. Um, and the other different times, like the Friday twilights. Now, time is gonna uh, time's gonna change here shortly, right? So it's gonna get darker sooner. It's definitely the spring and summer months. Uh, the five to seven? No, no, sorry. Four to four to seven, because when people are coming home from work, it's a great time. The twilight store. And so anyway, the 10, 10, 20. That means okay, so. This is the house. I'm going to door knock 10 on the left and on the right and 20 across the street. At the minimum, that's 40. At least. That's cool. At least, right? So, um, you're going to get back to, uh, and you're going to do it with door knocking. Zyla is excellent with door knocking. Yeah, we're not open houses. That's her thing. So, then what happens? Then we get in a contract. Then what should we do? Should we go back and door knock? Yes. So, oh, on that note, okay, on that note, I just want to show you a couple more things. And um, please forgive me. Like I said, I don't, I will get better with uh, doing a little bit more. Look at Wilma on page 15. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been great information. We, uh, we've honestly, we've covered everything. The most important. Right. I'm just not, uh, I still have to get better, like, I don't know, I'm just not used to PowerPoints and stuff. So I'm just used to sharing. Everything we've talked about is all in here. So now it's up to you guys to go through and highlight what's important. Oh, but while we're on page 15, matter of fact, um, okay, can you go the next one? One more? Hmm. Hold or stay? Okay. I don't know. I guess it's another 15. It's okay. Well, yeah. It's not quite. But anyway, please read um, before, prepare, and promote. Setting up goals. Uh, and so, what is your goal? Is it positive if you meet, if you connect with one person? Yeah. Sure. It'd be great to connect with ten. Yeah, but one. Is it's still positive. What if no one comes in? <laughs> okay. If we can think that, which obviously we're all going to think, oh shoot, I wish. It's okay though, if we had gone door knocking we met and now we can go back around and so on and utilize that. But that's not, it's not a waste of time. No, and also just having your signs up there or, you know, people are watching. 
Mm-hmm. So even if they didn't come, there's somebody that drove by and saw you know, and saw your sign. And did you gain the respect of that listing agent that allowed you to do that open house? That you had a great attitude and you gave a summary and you you were there, good attitude. Did you learn about that complex? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not. It's a learning experience. Sure. It's n- it's uh, there's always something positive, honestly. Okay. So. Um, what uh, what I like to is page sixteen. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, uh, these PowerPoints it doesn't give all the, obviously doesn't give all the details. Okay, I I got it now. Um, I like the walking in the door it, when when we are listing agents. So page sixteen at the bottom. Read that. So when somebody first walks in, what's the first impression? That's important. So I do have the music on low. You know. Andrea Bruschelli. And uh, I welcome them. You want to welcome them. You want to be inviting. It's nice to have your name tag. Um, you, you give them a flyer. Here's some information on the property. I'm so happy you, you, you came. You know, something like that. Welcome. Uh, we have some light refreshments in the in the uh, kitchen. Please help yourself. And then I, I, what we already talked about, you know, I point out some favorites. And, and then I ask them a question. Whether I'm right next to them or on their way back, something like that. Okay, the other thing I do want to talk about, page. Oh, why don't I always get compliments on our music, by the way? Sorry, Judah. You guys know uh, Pandora, right? One of you guys, especially for us ladies, guys too though. Okay, nothing's ever happened to me, but I have heard. So I do want to touch on that. I think it's important because I do think of it every once in a while. It's not top of mind, and I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. I'm just saying it's not top of mind. I'm just so used to it, I guess. Um, but we need to be wise. So always let somebody know where you're at. Um, maybe do check-ins like every hour. Make sure everybody knows where you're at, as far as your address, what you're doing. And if a guy walks in, which happens a lot, and I'm by myself, I I don't go in front of him. I'll just uh, I'll be behind him. And if there's an upstairs, I said, okay, so you know what? Um, please feel free to go upstairs. And now, 
If it's vacant, it's much easier. What if people live there? And we still have to be mindful of their belongings. So I might go upstairs with them, I might not. I have to decide. So just really important is keep it in mind about being safe. And um, let's see, let's see. What else can I add about that? Alex, do you have any thoughts? As a guy, have you ever felt uncomfortable? Yes. Okay. Well. In what way? about, we just want to touch on safety. Okay. It's very important. And see, even Alex, as a, as a guy, okay. can feel uncomfortable. Yeah. So, always want to let people know where you're at, maybe do a check-in, um, and um, what else do you say? Always let them go first. Yes, thank you. So, for guys, if I'm by myself, which often I am, um, you know, I'll direct, especially if it's upstairs. I'll let them know, you know, um, please go upstairs and, you know, make yourself comfortable, look around. Um, and I, I love your feedback on your way back. Now, if it's vacant, it's much easier. But now, let's just say there's people that are still living there. We still have to be mindful because some crazy yeah. people come in and st steal stuff, right? As a listing agent, uh, we spoke, we're supposed to tell our clients, our sellers, please put away anything that's valuable because, you know, during open houses, I'm not going to be able to follow every single person the whole time. So, as a listing agent. Is that rare or often? That say again. Is that rare or often that people are seeing that house is open? Or I've never had it. It's rare. It's rare. It's rare. We just have to be mindful. People are crazy. And medicines, too, when you have clients uh, listing, encourage them to put away their um, medication. When, um, open house. Okay, so please be mindful of being safe, okay? Whatever it's your comfort level, but just always be safe. I let the guy always go in front. Uh, I don't want to be, I don't want somebody to come back in. Even ladies. Sometimes you guys. All right, so there's much, much more details of everything we talked about. Is there anything pressing? And I do want to come back to, I mean, I have so many things highlighted. And I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Um, okay. Um, I would like to get back to Anise. So I would like to give you some ammunition. So this is say she does get somebody that maybe is in a hurry. It's okay. Um, but on a small amount, we already talked about, make connection a little faster. Because it only is going to take them, especially like on a coy or even on an offer. Um, but Auburn, at least, is an upstairs. Koi is just, you know, like this room. <laughs> Almost. Two bedrooms, a bathroom, and, and a main living room. Like, I had these couples, and they were so serious. Yeah. And they did have an agent, but they did not like the agent. Yeah, you told me. So I was connecting with them, and their budget was 400 instead of 450 And I was trying, you know, to get the information. Mm. And then he pretended that they did that he has to like, get back to, and he said, well, give me two minutes, I'll be right back. And then they went outside, and then they used to be like, pretended they were doing something, but I knew they were not going to come back. So, but I, I don't know why people are funny know. these days. They're not polite. It seems like people aren't polite anymore. No. That's just courtesy. Yeah. Hey, you don't have to lie to me. Just say yeah. no, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Some people are funny. Because we were talking about four or five minutes.
also what I like to have at my open house is um, the listing page of the property. Now, this isn't something that you give away. This is, and I, I do like to find it, just so much easier. So I'll just pass this around. This was a, a property I did earlier this year. Is this Auburn? Yes. Okay. So, because people will ask, oh, you know, um, how are the comparables? It's like, oh, well, let me show you. And so you have it. And the MLS, right? Oh, yeah. It's just a quick CMA. So, um, you don't give that to them, but you, you treat them like, well, you know, I, this is my copy, but I'll be happy to email that to you. But that's what my question. Like, it's because I did email it to you. I'm not sure if you had a chance to look at it or a PR. Oh, yes, I did. That's a little bit too That's, and then that's over the top. So many information. It's too I'm much. Sure confidentiality. It's too much. Okay, so I did something Sorry, like that. Sorry, I did respond to that. So this is the same thing, the comps, and then is this one, do we have the page of the listing? Okay. Yeah. This way, everything is here, and you can like, you know, you have this with you sometimes, like walk around with this, the comps, and the last page, I always have the, the listing info okay. on the last page. Well, for me, it doesn't. Yeah. It could be on the first, it doesn't matter. And what's the listing that you didn't know right. for? Okay. Well, it's hard to memorize everything, right, if you're not the listing agent. Yeah, I always put that on myself. Yeah. All right. The other thing before we go, lastly, I think I showed you guys everything so far, um, which is I know we don't. I know we do not. So lastly, you guys. I just want to share with you um, what we can get from the title company. So this is, um, so when we go door knocking, and it only takes them like a day to do. This one is, this is Palo Alto? Yeah, this is the Palo Alto. So I asked for specific, I just wanted, a, because I met a lot of neighbors. So I'm going to go back around, and I'm going to go, and I just wanted the immediate neighborhood. I, I don't know how many, oh. Okay, 247. Oh, you just asked them for a farm kit? Yep. Oh, a farm. Oh, a farm. Yeah. Oops. Okay. So this is Palo Alto. Uh, we did an open house, that Palo Alto place. And a lot of neighbors came by. So I'm going to go back around. And this way, now while you're door knocking, you can make notes here. Okay. So that's that. And this one is, which um, property is this one? Oh, this is my Blue Mountain. Yeah, they also have apps too where you can connect with them. Like you can connect to their um so they have one. So they have yeah. one app. Um, it's it's like they'll help you. Oh, Miss Laura, uh, what uh, words of uh, wisdom do you uh, have for uh, us? We're just finishing up. Did you guys have a good open house app? Yeah, no. we did have a good open house app. Were you guys all here yesterday for Joey's class? No, I, was, I was here. Well, similar to Michael Putnam, to Joey, to Yvonne, face-to-face, -face, you guys, it's, this is a face-to-face -face business. And so part of your lead gen has got to be getting in front of people. Mm -hmm. And Joey said that yesterday. Michael Putnam says it all the time. I'll say it because it's true. Gary Keller says it. Got it. we got to build relationships, and, and so that's my words of wisdom. Yeah. And we talked about um, just having a foundation of open house, and since we're solo agents, because going through, you know, our material, it, it talks, you know, we can have like a huge event, but realistically, as solo agents, sometimes we don't have the time, so at least if we can, now we're going to go around and say, what are we going to implement? If we at least implement one more can thing. Can I do two more things? Absolutely. Can I do my first? Yes. I believe open houses are a week-long event. Yeah. Did you guys talk about that already? Correct. Uh, like yes. You pick your open house on a Monday, beat everybody else to it, get the one you want, study the neighborhood during the week, go view the property, go view the other properties around it, really learn that neighborhood, door knock, invite people to it, get your flyers ready to go. There's a lot of things you can do throughout the week to make it be a way better open house on the weekend. And then number another huge important thing is you have got to follow up. If it's not your open house, follow up with the agent that you got the open house for. Because if they have to hunt you down to get follow up, they're not going to ask you to do it again. So the best agents get 
asked back because they follow up. Mm -hmm. Parents make sense? They respect. We talked a lot about yeah. that. respecting the house, respecting yeah. the agent, thanking the agent, all that. Basically. The other thing is, we actually have an open house checklist here in the office. It's a very oh. good checklist. Yeah. It's huge. Is it in there? Well, we have one we created. Oh, okay. Like we had different agents. Kelly and I looked at it. We had different agents. And I can grab that and send it to all of you guys if you'd like it. It's a Would you yeah. please? Yeah. I'll take the thing and I'll email it to you guys right now. Yeah, um, thank you. And I feel like I have one other thing. So what do you mean by that checklist? Open house? Suggestions of what to do to make it the yes. best checklist possible. Oh, okay. Okay. Best uh, open house possible. The, the third, my third and final, and I'll be quiet, okay. is, and you probably already talked about this too. It's okay. You don't have to do an open house just on the weekends. Right. One of the best agents in Santa Cruz, when she was just starting out, she spent money buying signs so that she had her name on her signs, and she would find a vacant home to do an open house every day of the week. Mm -hmm. She'd put her signs out. She'd show up there and work, get work done, make sure you have good cell reception. She'd make calls. She'd get work done. People would come in, and pe very quickly people said to her, you must be really busy. I see your signs everywhere because they were out all week long. And she is now, it happened quickly, one of the top agents in Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. That would be my only other thing. Thank you. So we just reached out to that listing agent and asked, hey, can we post one? Yeah, and if it's somebody that lives there, obviously, I mean, the, during the week, the best times to do an open house are going to be more like a three to six kind of thing, you know, later in the day when people are coming home from yep. school or work. Mm -hmm. um, it can be that someone lives there, which if they live there, then you can get their Wi-Fi. But if they are not okay with that, then vacant ones are the ones that are easier. You know, like Esmeralda, your homes that you guys are flipping are vacant, man. You can be yeah, yes, I I she want. told us. We're yeah, they told us about it. So, yeah. Yeah. Time, uh, so our checklist is on page 33 in here. Cool. And then I'll email you guys more. Yeah, about that. Oh, uh, so there. So what do you guys have? What was your outhouse? Yes, so what's one thing we're going to implement oh, that's that said. we didn't uh, have okay. been doing? Who would like to start? Yes. I'll start really quick with the um, Mine was uh, like when they have um, a client that comes in with an agent. That's an agent that you can put onto. Um, okay. Connect with the profit sharing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Use that time too, Ross. Prospecting yeah. for uh, smart. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Yeah, treat those agents as we talk, just like they're regular everybody else. Good. I'm glad that. I'm going to share my open house flyers to all my agents, even though they're okay. not looking for that. That's it. They know how to do something. They know you're busy. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're busy. Really. And this is a busy realtor. And our have clients. Yes. But hey, you know, maybe this is my new, uh, this is the uh, open house I'll be hosting this weekend or anybody. Yeah, just wanted to share it with you. It's a great little house, you know. Post it on Facebook, too. And, yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, return 10 point. Okay, great. We talked about, if nothing else, at least do um, the 10 on either side. Oh, and then the 20 uh, to door knock. Yeah. If we can't do the whole barn, um, yeah. you know. Like if we can't do 100, at least do that. Because we can do that before an open house. Mm -hmm. Let's say we don't have time to do it. Um, or maybe we get an open house late. Do it earlier in the day. Yeah. Go a couple hours ahead. Yeah. Before the open house. Mm -hmm. oh. No, the farming. That, that was yours too, Alex? I would like to uh, before the open house. Yeah. Not necessarily Monday, but that day. Yeah, or the day before. You know, yeah, that's for me for that's, sure. That's, gonna be very helpful. that's what I'm going to do. And Anise reminded me because she's been doing that um, constantly every week. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> we all feel you. So don't worry. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Everything you put out there yes. will come back to you. It's the, um, the oh, wow. rolling stone catches no moss, I think is the, the quote. That's the oh. best quote. I don't know if you ever heard that. Okay, so I have a basically, that. or the snowball. The more you roll a snowball down the hill, the more snow it collects. The bigger it gets. Yeah, the yeah. bigger it gets. So you're building momentum and energy. The more you put yourself out there, it will come back to you. That's the law of the universe. Mm -hmm. and for every action, there is a reaction, and it's coming back to you. It is. You're building it. It's well, a law. It's a universe.